achievement of science the achievement of science in the 20th century has been very great its influence can be felt in every sphere of life from the small pins and needles to the huge iron sheets and joints most of the things we require for our everyday use come out of factories where scientific principles are utilized for practical ends science has enabled man to bring forces of nature under control and to use them for his own advantage it has brought the distant parts of the world close together our knowledge of the universe has been much widened on account of the untiring efforts of the astronomers like jeans and eddington remarkable cures of human diseases have been possible owing to the discovery of some wonderful medicines japanese landscape The beauty of the Japanese landscape is that it conveys philosophical messages through each feature. The use of curving pathways rather than straight lines, for instance. This feature springs from the belief that only evil travels in straight lines. Good forces tend to wander. The odd numbers of plants or trees are used in these gardens because these numbers are considered auspicious even the plants used are symbolic for example the cypress represents longevity and the bamboo symbolizes abundance says sadhana roy choudhury In Japan nature is said to be so closely intertwined with human life that parents actually plant a sapling in their garden when a child is born in the family letting the growth of the child coincide with the growth of the plant our society our society rather world stereotypes men as strong aggressive logical insensitive unemotional impatient non-nurturing and mechanically talented while a woman as illogical emotional sensitive patient and naturally nurturing we can see that stereotypes for both men and women have some positive and some negative characteristics early psychological research suggested that females score higher on verbal skills while males score higher on mathematical and spatial skills studies also found that men listen with their left hemisphere while women with both hemisphere which suggest that in addition to content of the statement women also pay attention to the tone and emotion however later research has found that these differences in cognitive abilities of the two sexes has become less and less obvious as the society has begun to treat the two genders as equal It has been found that male and female identity begins to develop as early as 1 year of age owing to the way our society socializes our children As a child grows he she is told to behave according to what is considered appropriate for his her sex the influence that culture can have on our personality was revealed in a landmark study by margaret mead in which it was found that there is no identity crisis during adolescence 
in Samoa tribe due to their liberal gender attitude. Indiscipline among youth Indiscipline among youth involves a lack of respect for elders, mates and younger ones. It also includes fighting in the public, stealing, smoking, cheating in examinations and taking drugs. The effects of indiscipline are always negative. The youngsters engage in nefarious activities such as fighting, stealing and other vices. Getting catch, arraigned in court and found guilty not only hinders their progress in life but also deprives the nation or society of able bodies and talented youths who can otherwise contribute their might to the development of that nation. Some youths also indulge themselves in drugs and are addicted to them. These drugs eventually destroy them. Youths who are supposed to be mentally alert suddenly become mentally retarded and eventually waste away. Indiscipline cannot be overemphasized. So there is need for it to be curved. Parents should train their children in the right way so that when they grow up they don't depart from it. They should give them proper home training and help them become responsible. Teachers are not left out of this. They should teach the consequences of indiscipline and also impart moral education. Various religious institutions should also instill morals and the fear of God into our youth. These measures will make them more responsible in society and will also eradicate indiscipline among them. A nation that has a disciplined youth will develop and make progress in the sense that the youth of today will be the leaders of tomorrow.